Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Pro Tools tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use your Pro Tools plugins multi-mono. Now using your plugins multi-mono will allow you to do separate processing on a stereo track on either the right or the left side independently. And remember to follow Wing Sound on Facebook and Twitter to keep up to date with the latest releases from Wing Sound Studios. Let's say you got a stereo track that you're working on and you want to do some editing and mixing on it. You know, let's say you want to uh, do something on the left side that you don't want to happen to the right side. What you could do is, you know, break the stereo track up into two separate mono tracks. But an easier way to go about this is to use multi mono plugins. So just go to your inserts and then choose multi mono plugin and, you know, choose your desired plugin that you want to use. In this case, I'm going to use the trim plugin to balance out my uh, stereo levels here. Because in this uh, sample that I have, the right side is louder than the left side. So I want to bring down the right side only. So once you open up a multi mono plugin, you'll see in the right hand corner you get this little box with two green squares. Each green square represents, um, you know, either the left side or the right side. Next to it, you have this uh, little chain. And that's basically what it is. It links uh, the left and the right side together. So whatever adjustments you make in here, it's going to affect the left and the right. In my opinion, this doesn't make sense because, you know, if you want to use a plugin to affect the stereo track, just use a regular plugin. You don't really have to use a multi mono plugin. So just disable that so this way you have the left and right separate so you can make your separate adjustments. And to choose either the left or the right side, just go over here to this box, click on it, and choose either left or right. So like I said before, the right side is a little bit louder. And I'm using the trim plugin to balance this out. So I'll play it and I'll drop the gain down a bit so you can see. You know, it works a little bit. Um, you know, this sample was kind of uh, made to, you know, have that flowing left to right kind of, you know, swell in volume and things like that. So it's not going to be perfect. But again, you know, utilize this to balance out, you know, the stereo levels for the left and the right side. And I'll just drop it down all the way just so you could see that the right side will be gone when I drop the level down. So as you can see, I'll bring it back in. Okay, you get the idea there. So I'll do something else just to show you. Um, I'll grab the one band EQ, unlink them, and I'll choose the right side. And I'm going to do a low pass filter. You know, really something really drastic just so you can hear what's going on. Okay, so you hear I cut out, you know, all those highs and I'll sweep it back just so you can hear the highs coming back in and, you know, just hearing that only the right side is being affected. All right, you get the idea there. It's really, really handy. You know, if you have a stereo track that needs some adjustment on either side and, you know, like I said in the beginning, you don't have to go through the process of splitting up the track you know, to two separate mono tracks, and you have just uh, one plugin, you know, instead of two separate mono tracks with two separate plugins to make your adjustments, you could just use one on that stereo track and just switch between the right and the left side to make your, you know, your quick adjustments. It's really cool. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.